Have you ever been driving along a road and realized that maybe you're a little bit too close to what is usually the yellow line dividing the two opposite direction lanes on, on a street? Or perhaps you're on the, in the rightmost lane and you notice that's a cyclist on that lane. So what you do is you try to like go around them, give them more space or her more space, maybe as much space as possible. Might even enter the other lane. This is a very good analogy for the intensity at which you want to exercise. There is a possibility that you can stay in the leftmost lane, which is closest to the opposite lane, and still do okay. But the problem is that the closer you start driving to the leftmost part of that lane, to the yellow line per se, the more likely that you are going to get into an accident, perhaps hit the oncoming traffic. There's more risk there. Just as, just as there's more risk if you stay too close to the right lane when there's a cyclist there. And the risk might be more on the cyclist than it is for you, but the risk is there nonetheless. What I'm saying to you is that when you're picking exercise, when you're extra, you don't want to get too close to the yellow line. You don't want to get too close to the cyclist. There's a good middle path where you can still see the results you want to see without having to go as intensely. And the, that is more likely to get you there to this, get to the goal in a safe manner than it is to drive at the edges of the road. So it might, for some reason in this analogy, you might prefer to drive in the leftmost lane, but it can technically be the most dangerous lane if you're not careful. I want you to treat this as if there's obstacles on this road, there's potential to go too hard or too soft per se, and you need to find that middle path. You need to find the intensity that's going to help you grow. It's a little bit more than the last time, but it's not too intense. And so many people fall into this punishing mindset where they need to, to go as hard as they can right now to get the most amount of results. And I'm here to tell you that there is an injury risk if you're too intense. And if you're getting injured, it means you're not exercising at all and so much for your goal. So instead, find more of a middle path, find a middle ground, find a way to exercise that fits your lifestyle and the amount of time that you're recovering and see your goals more likely more sooner because there's less risk of anything getting in the way.